Rebel Access. I'm your host today, Christina. Tonight we're at the Pearl Room with the band Warbringer. Uh, I'm John Locks. I play guitar. John Keevil, I yell at shit. Let's start with the name. How did you get here, and what is the meaning behind the name? It's kind of self-explanatory, really. We just we just decided um, that war and thrash metal are two things which go together thematically, and uh, just looking for a name, so settled on that after looking through a list of like monsters in a video game and changing one of the names to like war instead of whatever else Springer it was, because we we're changing everything to war. So. Yeah. How did Warbringer form, and how long has your current lineup been together? Uh, we started in 2004, and uh, we've only had this lineup for three months. We've gone through like tons of lineup changes in the last two years. As soon as we got signed, we we're like looking for real musicians and real people that were going to go on tour, and that was a huge adjustment. So. How many releases has Warbringer put out? Well, albums just one. We have uh, two old demos before that. Um, you can find the second of those online still, but yeah, just, just the one album and uh, the second album we're doing now, but that's not out yet because it doesn't exist. What would you like your fans to know about your latest release? Um, we produced it with uh, Bill Matoyer. He did uh, the first three Slayer records and a lot of other bands we really like, like Trouble and Hellstar. And um, it was pretty much everything we accomplished up to the point before we, you know, we started touring. But, um, we put a lot of work into it. It's a lot really heavy. Who were your musical influences growing up? Well, all kinds of things. You know, everything from classic metal, all uh, like the Maiden Priest mold to New Wave of British heavy metal stuff into like thrash, death metal, black metal, you know, pretty much all across the spectrum. As far as like which bands have directly influenced us most, probably, uh, Probably early on, Slayer and then Demolition Hammer and Sacrifice were, and Creator were really big ones on us. I think you can see a lot of all their styles in our sound. Yeah. What song do you think really gets your crowd going the most at your shows? Um, I guess it's Total War. I don't know how it happens, but it happens and they pick it and they yell it. And we have to play that every night. <laughs> Well, uh, we just wrote a new one that's been really well received uh, called Severed Reality. That one's probably the fastest thing we've got, and so we just started playing it on this tour, and it's been a really great response to that one. What is your favorite song to play live? Mm, I like Systematic Genocide because it has like a kind of like a really heavy, like, grooving death metal riff right in the middle of it. It's fun. Are you? Same one I just mentioned. Yeah. What is your must-have for Warbringer Backstage? <laughs> um, basic requirements, water, beer, chips, maybe pizza, I don't know. <laughs> We're not picky. Are you? Yeah, we don't need a lot. I pretty much just need, like, a couch and something to drink. That's about it. We have a perfect rider. You know? Yes. Um, our perfect rider would have a carton of cigarettes and socks, so we could change our socks every day. What do you want to say to all those aspiring musicians who want to be where you are today? Um, keep going. Keep moving things forward. That's all we ever thought to do and, you know, kind of unwittingly ended up touring all a bunch. And now we're just trying to do the same thing we've always tried to move the next step forward. Yeah, the same thing. Uh, I didn't think we'd start touring with Overkill or any bands. And I just picked up my guitar and we played music that we thought sounded all right. And what is the future for Warbringer? Uh, working on our second album, and we're going to go... This year we've done... This is our seventh tour this year. We finally get a couple of months off to write and record the next album, and then we're probably going to do six or seven more tours next year. So that's what's in the store. I'd like to thank you for coming on the show today.